Hello everyone, in this video I would like to share some of the tips and tricks for our basement development, how we did it, and so you can actually apply it on your design planning as well. So stay tuned. We designed the hallway with some of our favorite movie posters that we framed from Walmart. It was around $7.99 as you can see how it enriched the walls and it really give the vibe that you're entering a theater. Alright, so here's a quick look from the right side. As you can see with a nice wet bar we designed and applied. We used some Gobi Rope Light which is metro enabled and very nice neon look at the background of the back bar, as you can see some frame TV and of course a disco light. Awesome wet bar with the moment of some music and enjoying with some friends and having some drinks and dancing and so on. So as you can see, here you go, this theater area of the room with the nice comics posters combined with a VMAX laser projector, very nicely done, 4K Ultra HD short throw projector and combined really well with this view, with the background of the wet bar, the disco ball, as you see like it's kind of giving swipe of a place that you can enjoy with friends, right? Take a look how this design smoothly moves into the bar area within the theater section as well. So it's a perfect man cave, a friend zone that you can watch some stuff, but at the same time, enjoy some other things at the bar section too. And definitely fan of this disco ball, it's battery powered and work really well. And I must say that how this fridge perfectly fit in this design, of course, awesome spot for this awesome Harry Potter sign between two doors, you know what it is. Let's have a quick look before and after here, right before the development of this room, after it's developed and how we design it later on. I guess it worked really well. What do you think? Here I wanted to quickly show you when the lights are on, how VMAX projector performance is. I will have a much longer review on this. Stay tuned for that. Now let's have a quick look in the other room and here it is. An awesome room with three equipment so far but it's really good for basic stuff. And here is the mirror with IKEA small mirrors, it worked really well. It's a modest room, probably it will be a bedroom, I will show you how it looks in Home By Me app. Alright, so I wanted to show you a bit of before after here, you may notice how it changed. And then this look of course. So I want to talk about this storage before, after and after our design. So the storage area wasn't finished after development, but we did use some of the nice backdrop sheets for photo shoots and it worked really well. I definitely recommend it. It's very easy to apply. You may be able to see some of those popcorn and also like bubblegum machine there. They really kind of edit on this design. And now that's the perfect piece here, a portable, one of those small saunas so you can easily fit there. So this is before and after our design again. Take a look, it really suited with this kind of old theater vibe and kind of washroom of that. Here, please look at the backsplash. I'll talk about that later, but that's definitely a nice one. Sorry, I can skip this portion. I'm definitely a fan of the how crisp is this projector. All right, so now let's zoom in. Okay, how did we plan this, right? This is the phases I wanna talk because Home By Me app really allowed me to do that. And I really wanna share this experience with you all. All you can do, just use this app Put your all effort on it. This will actually make it way better when you plan everything within your style and how you can keep adjusting based on the availability of the products in the real life. So you are not stuck with it. But other than that, what you can do here is definitely the sizes of these stuff. So you can adjust whatever size are available for whatever circumstances. Here is an example, I'm just adjusting this cabinet and based on an IKEA what you find it, you can easily adjust and see if it's gonna work or not. 
you can adjust the color of this cabinet doors you can change the size you can even change it to like one door or two doors easily so that's what i did based on what i was able to find in the ikea and i was easily just finding those dimensions in ikea descriptions apply it on those cabinets here and voila here is your awesome view you can just decide which one you want to go with to be honest i just purchased them based on here my calculations and then it worked really well here you can easily replace any equipment as you can see like i just changed this lamp i can even change this cafe table based on what i see here so for different colors or whatever right so you just click on replace and then it shows you the related items there you may notice how realistic it is as you may see i was just making sure i'm doing some of the design planning here and then find whatever i can as realistic as possible from those different stores so easily you can adjust based on what you see in the stores right so that's the best part of it so let's see here i want to just find a nice backsplash idea before i get anything else so i was seeing those peel and stick options in some of the stores so i was like okay let's see how the green will look like because i'm definitely a fan of the green and the opposite color of red so why not doing a green backsplash with this kind of design and to be honest it was pretty obvious how it was gonna fit with this design and it did so as you can see it's not so easy to apply it in a partial portion of the wall there are some hacks for it but i will mention those later if you're interested so let's see some other stuff here so i want to show you how actually you can have your plot of your uh, basement and put it on top of your the real map and then adjust everything based on that all these distances all these measurements you're getting are real measurements later on so i will show you those later but this is a great example how you can measure everything in this look look at this it, this is exactly what i showed you in the real life but way better and one last great tour of the digital rendering to show you how I stick with the plan of this view and how I was able to find the best options in the real life. And if you can't, it's all about your imagination. So allow yourself to just use the similar colors but different design or vice versa. It's all about that, the planning. So that's being said, let's do a little bit of like step by step how we did this. So first thing, IKEA cabinet installations combined with the fridge and look how it will be shaping with the countertops which was a good start to see and countertops need some adjustment wall side i needed to cut it and this is after cutting it this was a bit struggle but it worked really well later on i used some extra vinyls to use that for as a foam panel covering and again that kind of helped me to have this nice wood look and now this is the backsplash portion i wanted to share with you and as i was saying i used some peel and stick tiles from rona and that was very good easy to apply i mean it takes a bit of time but definitely better than regular tiling so definitely recommend it so now look at the background of course we want to have some nice look here and here it is so it worked perfectly with the shelves, frame TV and going neon lights. Look at again. So rendering gave the idea, the insights, what I can apply easily. And then of course with the final, based on what I can find, I was able to do some adjustment and use a bit of imagination. Here we are. Frame TV, and awesome look at the disco top, and then this is what you have at the end so allow your imagination combine with this planning and you won't be upset at the end right i guess it's time to get ready for the party what do you think 
Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Please leave your comments below if you have any suggestions, any questions. We can go over more in the later videos. Bye for now. Stay tuned.